This is in response to Pax Gorilla's tag to read something. And I'm going to read from Tom Robbins, Still Life with Woodpecker. When two people meet and fall in love, there's a sudden rush of magic. Magic is just naturally present then. We tend to feed on that gratuitous magic without striving to make any more. One day, we wake up and find that the magic is gone. We hustle to get it back, but by then it's usually too late. We've used it up. What we have to do is work like hell at making additional magic right from the start. It's hard work, but if we can remember to do it, we greatly improve our chances of making love stay. We're our own dragons, as well as our own heroes, and we have to rescue ourselves from ourselves. When the mystery of the connection goes, love goes. It's that simple. This suggests that it isn't love that is so important to us, but the mystery itself. A love connection may be merely a device to put us in contact with the mystery. And we long for love to last, so that the ecstasy of being near the mystery will last. It is contrary to the nature of mystery to stand still, yet it's always there, somewhere, a world on the other side of the mirror, or the calibre, a promise in the next pair of eyes that smile at us. We glimpse it when we stand still. The romance of new love, the romance of solitude, the romance of objecthood, the romance of ancient pyramids and distant stars are means of making contact with the mystery. When it comes to perpetuating it, however, I got no advice, but I can and will remind you of two of the most important facts I know. One, everything is part of it. Two, it's never too late to have a happy childhood.